Okay, now that we have WordPress set up, let's find a theme to make it a little bit more custom looking. The great thing about WordPress is you can find all types of different templates and themes that you can use on your system in order to make it a little bit more, more you. So you can do a Google search on WordPress themes and a bunch of different sites will come up. Some of them are free and other ones you have to pay for. You can find them anywhere from 10 bucks to 50 bucks, but even the free ones are just as good. If you can find one that'll cater to what you're looking for, then go with it. So you can do a Google search, like I said, or for now, we're just gonna go back to wordpress.org and pick one of their themes that they already have on file. So you go to extend, and then you go to themes. So I'm gonna type in uh, photography. Okay, so we have a few of them that come up, but there's so many that you can choose from, not even just from photography. If you just type in, you know, black, the different themes that will come up that have a color scheme of black. So um, check it out, see what you like, and play around with it. Let's see, let me choose this one real quick. Let's see what this looks like. Let's do a preview of it. Okay, so there's no images on here, but we can add stuff. But this is basically the main, the, the main template of it. You can add your pages. This is where your pages would be. So the contact page that we made earlier, the about page, that would be up here. And you can even add other elements to it. You can put HTML coding in here, which is pretty cool. Your contact information. Okay, so I'm gonna download this one. Okay, so now that I have this theme downloaded on my desktop, what you're gonna to need to do is upload it to your hosting account. In order to do that, you're gonna need an FTP protocol. And basically it's a software that uploads all the files for you and it takes just a few minutes. The thing about this is it's really fast and it cuts down on a lot of time of trying to upload all these files uh, manually, which would take forever. So if you're on a Mac, what I like to use is a program called Fetch, F-E-T-C-H. So let me go to the website. It's fetchsoftworks.com. And you can just go to, I believe you can go here, actually, right here. Just download it. And I believe there's a free trial for, I'm not sure how long it is, but there's a free trial. And even after the free trial, it'll ask you to buy it or it'll just count down to where you can still keep trying it. So you'd never actually have to buy it. But if you want to, I, I believe it's 25 bucks to buy. But just try it out for the first however many, however long it gives you the free trial for it. You can just keep trying it. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy it, but you can upgrade it, but you'll always be able to use it. It's a free software, so download that. If you're on a PC, then I believe there's a really good uh, protocol called FileZilla. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Client download. So you can go, oh, it's actually for Mac too. Okay, great. So you can just download this for Mac or Windows and get your FTP protocol and I'll show you how to upload those those um, files to your hosting account. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Fetch to upload these files. Basically what I did, I opened up Fetch and I went up to File, New Connection and it opened up this window. So let me close one of these because I don't need two of them. All right, and when you get your hosting account with the company that you decide to go with, they'll give you this information of how to upload through FTP. So it's really simple. You basically just put in the domain name, youngphotopreneur.com, your username that you decide to go with. With uh, site five, it's the first eight letters of your account. And I already have this saved in here, so it already knows my, um, my information. And I can actually add this to Keychain, so if you're gonna be doing other sites, I have a bunch of others that it'll remember the name of it, and then I can just sign in and not have to remember the username and password. But for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to put in the URL, the um, username, and then the password, and then you go to connect. So what I'm gonna do is go to public HTML and go to their folder portfolio where we uploaded the WordPress files. So in WordPress, when you're putting up a new theme, you go to content, actually wp-content, 
and then you go to themes and this is where you upload the theme that we just downloaded so let me grab that from my desktop and basically you just drag and drop that simple so as you can see it's uploading all the files right now you can see the process of it and after it's done it'll say complete so we'll just wait for that and then we'll go back to our uh, youngphotopreneur.com slash portfolio and check it out so look how quick that it was complete so let's go back to the site here we are youngphotopreneur.com but actually we need to be in the back end so let's go here you're gonna go right up here to appearance and scroll down to themes and there we are there it is that simple that easy so I'm gonna click on here and then I'm going to activate usually it'll show a preview of it here but for some reason it's not so let's just go ahead and activate it and now let's go back to it and refresh the page and there we are all set up so now we can start editing this and you can have your website up in no time all right so now that you have your WordPress up, you'll want to start playing around with the theme to see how it works. There's so many cool things you can do with WordPress. It's awesome. So, you know, you might want to see what happens when you make a new post or add a new page. Um, the, thing, the great thing about WordPress as well is not only can you use it for your portfolio, but you can also use it for a blog. So you can keep your clients or people that love your work, that you can keep them updated on new stuff that you're doing. Maybe you just did a recent photo shoot and you just want to post up a few new pictures or you might just use it strictly for your portfolio. But the thing is, you can engage in the people that are interested in you. So you can have that blog and you can also have the regular website. So I'd advise you to go back to wordpress.org and just start understanding, like read some of these things in the forums and understand how it works and what you can do with it. For instance, if you go back to extend and go to plugins, there's all kinds of things that you can add to your WordPress. It's, it's really cool, like you can add a calendar, or you can add your, your Twitter feed, whatever it is, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So here's like popular tags that are for plugins. Um, let's, for instance, go to calendar. Maybe you want people to know what your schedule is going to be like for the next couple weeks as far as shooting. So I'll go here, calendar, let's see what it looks like. So this is what it would look like, and it would probably either add another page, you could probably add, it looks like you can add it on your page, like your about page, or a different section on your WordPress, but just play around with it, because there's so much you can do again. There's so much you can do with it, and you can add all kinds of stuff on it. Let me show you, for instance, if you wanted to add a picture to, to this theme in particular, because all themes work differently, so that's why you have to kind of play around with it and see how it works. But let's see, how about we go to add a new post? So if you go to upload your picture and you host it, um, for instance, like uh, free hosting, no, free image hosting.net, I think it is, free image hosting.net, yes, there it is, um, or any hosting site, photobucket, imageshack.us, um, just upload a photo so you can get that URL, and you're going to go back to your the back end and go to HTML. I already uploaded an image earlier, but I just wanted to show you this site because it uploads pictures pretty fast uh, for the most part. So after your image has been uploaded, you can it'll give you an HTML code. So you're going to copy and paste that and you can go back to the back office. And like I said, you're going to choose, there's two sections, visual and HTML. So you're going to click on the HTML section and you're going to paste it in this section. And then we can go back to visual to see what it looks like. Oops, that's not how you do it. Actually, let's erase this. We're gonna click on image and then paste the URL. Let's name it uh, first image. Oops, I mean first. I'm having typos today. Okay, so let's uh, call the post, uh, again, first image. All right, so we can go back to visual. And this is just a picture that I was working on um, a while ago. I had done a photo shoot for this guy, and he's coming out with an album, and recently got signed uh, a record deal. So he wanted me to do his photo shoot and his website. So this is just something I grabbed off my desktop real quick, just to show you how this works. So we're going to publish it. 
And then let's go back to here. Let's refresh it. Cool. So that's like a first post. So basically I, I made a new post. I uploaded it this I uploaded this image, copied and pasted the URL, and now you have this image here. That's kind of cool only because say you want a main page that just says, you know, um, young photopreneur photography or whatever your company name is gonna be. And this could be like the main page of your of your site. And then you can have the different sections up here. So, you know, it's starting to look more like a real website. You know, you can change this up here and put your real information up here so people can contact you. The name of your site up here, or you can even take that out if you wanted to. It's up to you, but there's so much you can do with it. Again, people can leave comments on these pictures. You can actually use this picture as well as like a main page on one of your, your pages. So say you make a portfolio page and you want your portfolio page to be the very first thing that pops up when somebody comes to your site. You can change those settings in the back end in order to have that main page go straight straight to your portfolio page as soon as somebody types in your URL. So um, let's try let's try another picture and see what that looks like. Uh, add a new post. I already uploaded one, so I have the URL copied on on my uh, clipboard. So go back to HTML image, paste that in there, and let's just name this one uh, second image. And we're going to publish that. Okay, great. Let's go back to the main site. Let's refresh it. Go home. Second image. Ooh, cool. I like. So like I said, say that this is your home page and you want this image to be the first image that people go to. So say it's on youngphotopreneur.com slash portfolio. And when they type that in, this is what it goes to. Or maybe it's a picture that you make or some type of image that you make that says that has your logo on it. Whatever you want. Um, play around with the theme and see how it works. But um, like I said, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. It's already looking kind of neat. But there's so much more that I can add to this. You can change the colors, all kinds of things. So have fun with it. Get your website up, customize it, do whatever you want to do with it and start bringing people to it so they can know who you are and see your work.